Hello and welcome to another Electrician Pro Tip video. My name is Sam. This is the S33 Electrical Channel. These videos are intended to be short and to the point, and today we're talking about voltmeters. I got my meter here with me. This is a um, Milwaukee meter that um, I've had for a few years now. I bought this case at Goodwill. Um, it was like a few dollars, so it worked out nice. This meter didn't come with the case, however I do recommend getting a case. It kind of helps preserve and keep your meter in order. Today we're going to go over the basic settings for any beginner electricians who uh, want to learn more about this. My beginner's tool video, um, we talked about meters and I don't recommend um, buying a meter right off the bat if you're just starting out with your beginner tools. Um, and the reason is because I want you to go ahead and I want you to get a good one. And they're going to be upwards of around $120 to get a good meter. And before you do that, I want you to spend a little bit of time in the field. Your journeyman's going to have a, a meter for you to use. And make sure that you really want to be an electrician, you're committed to being an electrician. And then I recommend that you go out to buy a meter once you've made that commitment. But anyhow, we're going to go over the basics just so that um, anyone out there who is interested in learning, we can just do a... Um, a breakdown of the settings on the meter. I have a dial right here at the, on my meter and we have one, two, three, four, five settings. There are meters with other different kinds of settings um, but this is just the basic. And what you have here is the first one is an amp probe. So the way this works is on your amperage setting you would open up your clamp here and you put this around a conductor and it will tell you how much amps are pulling through that line. So I'm using my finger as a, like illustration as of a wire. Just put that on there and it will read, okay, that conductor is pulling 14 amps or whatever it might be. So that's your amp. This is um, your alternating current voltage. So this is just your basic, like, uh, if you're plugging into an outlet or something, you know, 110 volts, 120 volts. So that's the symbol here, alternating current, it's voltage. This is direct current, DC, this is going to be your low voltage. This would be for like testing a battery, something like that. Your next setting is your ohms. And the way this works is uh, this setting will allow you to um, check two points of wire and it will tell you the resistance, the reading of resistance. Um, on the wire and I've heard of people trying to use this setting to kind of guesstimate about how long a wire is by ohming it to kind of get a general idea of where it might be but if you're going that far um, you got you know that's usually you got problems and uh, you don't use this very often but when you do it's probably because something's messed up um, so that just kind of that's one setting that's the ohms and then this is your ohm ringer where when you put these two together it makes a beep sound that's telling you that you have a closed circuit um, so this comes in handy when you're trying to trace out or identify wires you can use uh, these two prongs to ohm across two different wires and at one point you have the two wires together so it tells you that these two wires here are the same two wires that are at this point so you can make a educated type um, analysis of what whatever the situation is that you're working on. So it's a pretty pretty basic thing. Um, so this meter is about $120. I recommend that you spend a little bit of time in the trade. Make sure that you are um, into it. And once uh, you've decided that, then I, I suggest that you go out and buy a nice meter versus a cheap one. I think the cheapest one you can get is like $20 at Home Depot. Um, eventually you're going to end up buying the nice one anyway, so you can just skip that and then just go right to it. So that's it. Um, that's how I fold up my meter, just like that. Um, notice how I have the prongs right here at this end, and I can show you that in a minute if you're carrying it on your belt. Um, this is Saturday morning, I just woke up, but you can kind of like loop it. That's kind of a cool way to, to carry it on your person. Um, but anyway, anyways, you know, I keep mine in my case. I put the prongs up here because as you 
to put it into the case, whenever you come back to take it out, you don't want these getting snagged up on the, on the fabric. So just a quick tip. Um, that's it for t this pro tip video. Um, we'll be back again sh shortly and until then, peace.